Hello friends and this is a new Laravel plus angular series and this is a much awaited series and we are going to learn various things because this is actually a Laravel angular authentication series and we are going to log in sign up and we are going to do a great thing which is reset password all with angular and jwt yes we are using json web token for authentication purpose and here is the just the introduction video and we are going to set up our environment for this episode so with that i am your host sarthak and this is a channel where i talk about laravel and its related things like angular also and if you have not subscribed please go and subscribe to this channel because here learning never ends so what actually we are going to see yeah we have simple navbar and if i click on this login yeah it's a single page that means there is no refresh and again if i click on this navbar yeah we are on the home page so what we can see we can see we have this login page and submit button is disabled these fields are having red bar here at the left but if i give like username you can see it's now green and if i now say any password yes you can see this is also green and now our submit button is enabled so if i remove anyone like password if i remove or if i remove this one this submit button is not active so yes this is active and we will log in but let's see the sign up part so yes we will go to sign up and the same procedure red 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 this means these fields are required go back to login again no refresh and let's see what if i log in so submit without any refresh yes we are on profile page but what if someone go to login page directly via url okay yes it is now fall back to the base url or simply the home but here is the interesting part you can see here we have logout button and we have a profile button so if i click on profile yes we get this one and profile is now white colored but if i go to home page profile is not white that means it's not active so this is good and if i press logout just after i press without any refresh everything is gone so this means everything is working absolutely fine and all these things that means the user detail is saved in the back end that means via laravel on the database the last thing the last greatest part i love about this is reset password so suppose i want to reset my password so bit fumes and send reset password link okay we have to wait so wait 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 and just after some time yes it says email sent successfully please check your inbox so i have used mail trap for the testing purpose so mail trap dot io and here we need to log in first let's log in via google so use google account yeah sure and now i'm on inbox go to inbox and i have all these emails for checking purpose but the latest one a few seconds ago and here we have so reset password password reset request click this button to reset your password so reset password and here we have this url change password then we have some kind of token here and now we have to provide our email then new password one two three four five six this time last time it was one two three only then change password and okay so we have this message done now login with new password so click on this okay when i click on this okay we fall back to this uh, login button and now if i log in one two three four five six and let's try with one two three what happened so submit okay uh, email and password doesn't match this means we have some kind of validation also so if i say one two three four five six submit yes we are here so let's see where the token is saved we have saved the token on our local storage which is on application and local storage the website name 
which is this the token is here and we have just saved the token and we have verified this token that yes this token is a valid token so we will do this thing also so next part is like if I refresh and log out sign up and without any yes you can see I have missed out this actually I have intentionally uh, not disabled this because I want to show you something so if I click on sign in yes you can see these fields are required we have some kind of error and if I refresh everything is gone and here is the simple thing so all these things are in this series there has to be lots of uh, videos and we will start from this episode also so what we are going to do firstly I will go to github to create a github repository for this series so that you will get the code related to this project so I will create a new repository new repository and repository name is Laravel plus angular or simply Laravel angular authentication okay so authentication and this is good so description and it's like Laravel and angular with JWT authentication uh, series with reset password uh, password system okay so this is good obviously it's a public so create a new repository and now I will go here on this and let's create a folder called Laravel plus angular this is the folder name just and inside this folder I will create a new terminal here so maximize it and here I will simply say Laravel new back end for the back end so it's now having the Laravel project for our Laravel plus angular authentication series and while this is installing let's now again go to the same folder we are on the same folder Laravel plus angular and this time I will say ng new front end so this is like front end angular that's good so hit again enter so this will download the angular uh, project and this will download the Laravel project so let's wait for them to complete and we will come back so the angular project is installed and Laravel is still installing so that's not a problem so I will go to again here and front end let's open this front end folder with our VS code so let me open this and close the demo part I have and now let's open again the VS code and here we have and you know if you have watched my VS code 60 minute video VS code provide a great thing when you are working with front end and back end like which is called workspace so here the Laravel is installing and we know the folder name so what we can do in a same editor we can have the front end project and as well as the back end so let's add folder to this workspace so let's add back end to this okay so now you can see we have front end and back end so we can switch between these two while we are working we don't have two windows or simply two editors also so let's now call this workspace or we can say we can save this workspace so let's say where we can save okay so I think we can save this workspace yeah here is it save workspace as I will call it Larangular Laravel plus angular Larangular nice name so save it so this means whenever we come back we will just go to open workspace and on that folder we will just select this file okay so this is good and let's see Laravel is installed no it's not installed fully so again wait for this and now both of these that means the angular and Laravel is installed so I will close my terminal now and here we have this back end and what I'm going to do I'm going to create a new repository for this so once more go here 
and open terminal for this i'm going to save both of these project in a single repository so that will be like simply first git init okay git is initialized and if i say git status it says no i don't know anything <laughs> so let's say now git and add all and everything is added so git commit hyphen m that this will be initial commit and like commit okay so everything is now committed to our github repository and we just have to push to our github not github repository the local git repository and now we have to push to github so we have the existing project so now let's copy this one from here go to terminal and paste it hit enter and we have to push that to the master so push that to the master everything is looking supremely supremely nice so let's say yes here and some kind of warning type things i don't know about that but it says permission denied so i have paused the video and corrected the ssh problem related to my github and now once more i will use this command and this time it will upload that to repository i think i'm sure that will work let's see yeah <laughs> it's working fine absolutely fine no worry Sagar. you are doing good <laughs> okay so this is done and let's now go to our github repository so lots of keys yeah <laughs> okay so once more here is laravel angular authentication and yes we have backend and frontend and vs code workspace also so these are the things and everything is done and in the next episode we will start to have all of the packages or other uh, libraries we need for this project and we will start greater speed and if you have liked these videos please please share these video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of angular level and how we can use both of these in a single project and don't forget to subscribe like bit films on facebook twitter and instagram and if you like my work and if you want to support just go to patreon.com and even one dollar a month will be a great help and otherwise you are liking this video that's a cool part so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye